Hey y'all, welcome to the channel, and um, this is going to be a little like overview, I guess, on uh, Reverb G2, <laughs> after a lot of struggles. Uh, don't get me wrong, Reverb G2 is an awesome VR headset. Um, when I first got it, about a week and a half ago, I had some huge struggles with it. Uh, all kinds of shaking in, in the cockpit black screens just is a huge amount of issues uh, my system is uh, and I know that's the first thing first what, what are you trying to run this on um, I'm running it on an AMD 5900 and uh, uh, NVIDIA 38 so uh, the system is very capable of 1600 I mean uh, 600 gigabytes of RAM and um, so, so like I said the system is capable uh, I just had some things that I needed to work out um, obviously we're running uh, uh, OpenXR tool for Windows Mixed Reality and uh, I'm also running uh, OpenXR toolkit um, and most of that the, the toolkit mainly the main use I use that for is to get rid of all that shaking uh, there is a uh, shake setting inside the toolkit OpenXR toolkit and I have that set to negative 50% and uh, that took care of almost all the shaking inside of the cockpit, which is excellent. That really, that's one of the things that really dialed it in for me, made it usable. Um, yeah, that was an excellent, excellent uh, setting if you're struggling with the, the inside of the cockpit shake. Even, even on Oculus, I do have an Oculus. Yeah, I've been running Oculus for three or four months now, and uh, and that helped even helped the Oculus as well. Um, inside of uh, Microsoft Flight Sim uh, basically what I did there was and <laughs> this is kind of kind of weird but I set uh, set it to TAA so I could go down and change my global uh, the global setting to medium then I went back up and set it to NVIDIA DLSS uh, quality and then I went back down to all the medium settings and changed some things to ultra, change some things to um, uh, high, and brought up a couple of values in there, um, and it, I mean it's doing very well. Uh, I didn't, it didn't get rid of all the stutters. Uh, I still have the occasional micro stutter here and there. Uh, and I think there's probably a couple of settings that I could could tweak on, but um, I, I think. For usability at this point, I am extremely happy with it, even with a, a couple of micro studies here and there. Uh, this, this video was shot over an hour and a half uh, session flying, and um, I don't believe even once I had a micro stutter that was, was large enough or a black screen or something that was large enough to take me out of immersion, which is, I mean, basically 100% of the goal is, hey, let's not have something so big that it's going to take me out of immersion. I mean, if you you look at the video here, this is uh, this is buttersmith. It is buttersmith. Uh, yeah, I hope it doesn't make <laughs> stutter at this point. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I was actually surprised that I was able to get it this good after the struggles I've had for the last week and a half. So, at any rate, uh, and, and like I said, uh, probably some more tweaking will take care of those. Uh, those last few micro stutters and stuff again. I probably need to dial some settings down a little bit, uh, free up some of that FPS and, and uh, for, well, not free up the F FPS, but actually free up the GPU a little bit and let it work a little hotter, on, harder on some other things, and uh, probably will take care of those last few micro stutters. But uh, overall, I am very, very pleased, and uh, man, I couldn't be couldn't be happier that I was able to get the. Reverb G2 working. I was beginning to wonder if I had uh, wasted $500 or not, uh, especially since I had the Oculus. And I was like, eh. it was beginning to feel like uh, beginning to feel like I should have just stuck with the Oculus and not even bothered with anything else. Oculus is good. It's great. Um, I think the colors are a little better. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive the colors are a little better in the uh, Reverb G2. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, my my eyes may be a little different than yours, and, and maybe actually maybe some reshade things would work better better in the Oculus. I don't know. Um, but 
Yeah, for, as far as the Reverb G2 goes, I am more than happy with uh, this thing has worked out as well as it did. Uh, and, and I've still got, probably in another week, I'll be able to get rid of those uh, final little micro stutters. If I don't mess it up really bad before then, <laughs> trying to get rid of them. I mean, it, you know, that's a, that's a two-edged sword. What do you want to live with? <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I, sh I probably should be happy and should not even worry, to worry about touching it anymore. I should just go with what I got. Uh, anyway, uh, I will make a video or two uh, later on and really go over the settings maybe in another week or two after I do get everything dialed in. I'll go over all the settings that I'm running um, with my machine and, and everything that's in the machine and, uh, and hopefully we will, uh, we will uh, maybe give you an idea or two about uh, about your VR headsets as well. That's the whole point is to make, make people happy, especially flying. Flying is nothing quite like flying in VR. Uh, thanks for stopping by and I really, really uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that subscribe button please. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.